Okay, what a lot of people don't know about me is that I eat food. And sometimes I make food. Because it's so hideously smoky outside, I'm going to make something. Okay, so I'll show you the ingredients. Very few ingredients. Butter. A spinny machine. Old cheddar, parmesan. We have a bowl. Cayenne pepper. Very important, because this is an adult food I'm making. A big bag of flowers. Okay, first thing is, <clears throat> we start with more or less one cup of flowers. I don't really follow recipes, especially for baking, because I don't think you're supposed to. One cup of cheese, and we need it to be great. Okay. Let's see if we got a cup. Okay, that's, that's really close to a cup. Looks like a cup. Okay. That looks like a cup. However, I'm gonna put a little more. Because Parmesan, very necessary. Butter, very cold butter. This is actually frozen, so I don't even know. And it says four tablespoons, so I have no clue what a tablespoon looks like. So, if I cut it around here, that might be, that might be four tablespoons. What do you think? Give or take? Uh-oh. Being that it's frozen, it doesn't really like to cut. Okay, so let's say, well, that's a little over a tablespoon. That's two, that's three, a little bit more, eh? Like they say, you, you can never have you can never have too much butter. I I heard somebody say that once. I believe it. And now you're supposed to cut the butter into little pieces. Three. Oh. Four. Okay. Now the rest of this, I'll just leave in the butter section over here. And we kick it up a notch. I'll just show you how much I'm putting in. And then I'll let you know later if it was too much. That looks like a good amount. Okay, dishes are done. Every time I look out the window, I just see my axe. But that's that's a good kind of axe, not a bad kind of axe. Anyway, so you might notice that I have math skills in the kitchen. That's because I uh, watched this YouTube guy, Sam the Cooking Guy. However, he has never baked special goldfish crackers, my own altered recipe. Okay, I appear to have the spinning machine working once again. Put the stuff that's not on the counter in the spinning machine. Put the roof back on. And we should be should be good to go this time. What the hell? Just worked a second ago. Aha! This this thing. Okay. Let's do this again. Okay, the bird is beeping for some reason. We won't worry about that. Now, we 
take mixture out and maybe dump it into here. Never rips straight that paper stuff. Okay, now we take whatever didn't end up on the floor and we put it on this parchment stuff. Refrigerate for, I don't know, half hour. I have a few different cookie cutter things to use here because, well, because I'm professional. I got this one, the big goldfish. I got this one, ooh, the bear. And I got this one, the irritating little squirrel. I'm thinking we're going with the big goldfish because it's less work. Okay, so I have a baking dish here and I put that parchment paper stuff on it. I'm just prepping here and I I put this white flowery stuff all over the counter because I've seen other people do that and I think that's what you're supposed to do for some strange reason. Now I'm going to roll the stuff out if it does roll out. Oh, forgot to put flour on this thing. They look like a little fishy, some of them. Okay, let's cook some fish. Timer set. Minutes, let's go with... 17, start, okay, we'll see you in 17 minutes, little fishies. Okay, so that was very easy, <coughs> fishy, crunch it, Okay, the only complaint I got is I didn't put enough cayenne. Should have had a little more cayenne. But they'll all be eaten within a couple hours anyways. That's close to enough cayenne. Kind of gets to you a little bit after. Okay, so that's it in a nutshell. Or should I say a seashell? Do yourself a favor and make them. They're really good. They're awesome. I'll put the recipe down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Oh, and by the way, can you guess what the subject of the next video is going to be?